हाई एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैव एंड ऑलरेडी प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज दैट विल इनकरेज एंड मोटिवेट मी टू मेक मोर ऑफ सच वीडियोज नाउ टूडे इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट डे ऑफ एनी रिसर्चर्स लाइफ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू सेंड माई पेपर टू अ जर्नल सो टू वीक्स अगो आई सबमिटेड माई पेपर इन आर्काइव and uh, in high energy physics a general practice where we wait for 2 weeks before we send our paper to a journal and this is because we expect that in 2 weeks our community will read up the paper and in and, and they send us the suggestions and some people are kind enough that uh, to let us know that we have missed some of the references and once we incorporate all those suggestions and the references then only we send our paper to the journal now i'm going to uh, send my paper to journal of high energy physics however in high energy physics there are other journal where you can submit your paper for example there is prl and there is prd there is sipos where you can submit your paper even my previous two papers i have submitted in journal of high energy physics and i had very nice good experience with them so i'm going to stick with them now one more important thing is uh, that you can put lot of things in archive but once only when your paper get accepted in any journal then you're called a published author and if you want to get a doctorate you are expected to have at least 2 to 3 publications so that is why this is a very 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 important day uh, although i'm just sending it we have to wait for one month at least uh, sometimes it also comes uh, the review come in 2 weeks but uh, in general practice we wait for one month before we get the review if we have to add something or if we right away get accept, accepted i will let you know about all those when i get to know about the review uh, but in today's video i am just going to show you how to submit a paper in journal of high energy physics so let's get to the tutorial first i will open the dropbox and go straight to the folder that has all my files so this is the second version where we have incorporated all the suggestions that came our way now i'm going to create a new folder and name it jhep submission just to avoid any confusion now we will open our second version folder and select the important files like i'm going to select tech file bbl file which is all the references jhep sty file all the figures and i'm going to copy this to our jhep folder so once i copy this i'm going to rename this tech file so i am going to change from archive to jhep submission again just to avoid confusion you can keep the same name if you want and similarly i am going to change the name of bbl file and i am going to the tech file and bbl file will have the same name now i am going to select these and compress it i'm going to compress it to create a zip file now i'm going to name the zip file same as the name of tech file okay so once that is done you can go to your chrome so this is the paper which is there in archive and you can now open in google jhep you click and then you select submit a paper you can put your archive id that is why i that is the reason i open my paper for so this is the archive id you have two option either you can upload your files or you can submit from archive so currently i have selected submit from archive so let's see how this goes so first thing the important thing is you have to select keywords at least 3 keywords 
so that the paper goes to the correct editor so i am going to just select the name options according to my paper and then i am going to submit it so this is the submission page and it has all your information you just have to write the name of master file along with dot tech so i'm just going to write blindly write the name of jhep submission file with dot tech and you will see that once i upload this file like this i will end up with lot of errors yes remember i chose the option of submission from archive and then in master file i wrote the name of jhep submission while the archive has different name file in it so i have to write instead of jhep submission i have to write the name in this option i have to write the previous name that i changed so if you change the master file name you can submit it and you will have no error and i promise you can proceed for the submission the reason i wrote the wrong name is because i wanted to show you the other option of submitting as well so that is what i am going to do i'll go back now this is the keyword page and then i'll go further back and i'll select upload file option so here also you have to select the keywords same as before all the information is still here here this option has changed so now you have to choose file so once you click the choose file you will end up in your folder now you select the zip file that you had created for jhep now you write the name of the master file as jhep submission and these are the keywords here that we had selected so you can actually change the priority according to you so here they have given a percentage how much weightage you want to give to a particular keyword you can select and now you submit so submission accepted we have given a preprint id all as well and so i'll go to the next step there is no next step because i don't want to give any other information uh, all this information is fine i'll go back to the preprint page here you can see you can download the jhep paper and preview it so i just wanted to see if everything is okay if all the references are looking fine if the figures are available and also i wanted to see if the changes that we had made are in this file so i checked everything and now i am going to add the co-author so you can add the name of co-author and they will send an personal email to co-author as well that you should always do to make sure you and your co-author are on the same page now go back to the preprint page and so this is where the report will come from the editor and now you can go to email and you will see that you have got an email from jhep editorial office now that you have enjoyed the tutorial you have to go to youtube type madhu iser go to this lovely channel and click on the subscribe button thank you for watching